Welcome to the Instant Classic Wrestling Podcast, the only podcast that is always an Instant Classic. And you are! Woo! And we want to punch Jim Cornette in the face repeatedly until he bleeds because he's stupid. We'll see you on the flippity dippity. Oh yeah. Hello, beautiful, lovely, wonderful, amazing people of the Instant Classic Wrestling Podcast land, world, universe of Florida, and the world. Uh, We are back with our third installment of the six-pack. We've done three of these in a row consistently on Tuesday. We're on a roll. That That is the longest streak we've ever had on time. You know, this is this is crazy. But this week we're talking about uh, wrestling video games, past wrestling video games that we would love to see kind of repackaged, um, you know, re remastered, I guess, for, you know, the next gen systems like Xbox, uh, Xbox One, uh, PS4, whatever the next Xbox is going to be, whatever, you know, PS5. The future. For the future. And current. And the future. And current. And the future. And, and I love you, Sasha Banks. But anyway, uh, she is not in any of these games, and it upsets me very much. Um, she has the opportunity to be in 2K17, uh, unlike JoJo. Just saying. Oh, burn! Um, but, <laughs> but anyway... Um, like I said, these are just games that we liked, you know, uh, when we were, I guess, younger, we should say. Um, and, you know, it would be cool just to see, be able to play them again. You know, you can play these games. There's ways to, you know, play old games, but a lot of them, it, you know, the, the gameplay isn't the same or, you know, it's just too much of a hassle. It would be easier if, if they would just, you know, repackage them. But anyway. Let's uh, start off. My number six is going to be WWE All-Stars. I didn't actually own this game, but I played it a couple times. I rented it a few times. Um, I I liked it. It was uh, more of an over-the-top video game. It was more kind of a a, a fighting style rather than the traditional wrestling video game. Um, it felt more like an arcade type game, kind of like a, you know, like a virtual fighter four or a Tekken or, you know, street fighter type of thing. Um, it didn't feel like, you know, like SmackDown or, uh, games like that, but that's what made it kind of unique. Um, it was just a fun game to play. Um, that would be cool if they brought, you know, redid that. Um, but, uh, trying to drag this out a little bit because, uh, DJ is not sure. Okay, my, okay, my first one doesn't matter anymore because, and anytime we we match up, I'm just gonna switch my order around and match <laughs> up. <laughs> so right. I got one more time to think about my 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 other game, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get, uh, that was that was on my list as well. WWE All Stars, so that'll be my number six, I guess. Um, I it was another game that I didn't get to play. I, I played the demo. Um, but I never actually got to get it. I still want to get it to this day, actually. Um, but I don't <laughs> feel like paying the what is it? It's still twenty bucks. I still don't, <laughs> just don't feel like paying that much for it. Um, for it to be as kind of as old as it is. But yeah, I think. Um, I, and I don't know if we're talking like repackaging, like to the new to the like roster now, or are we saying like just bring them back to where they can be played on systems now. Um, I'm not sure what definition or is it kind of a de- combination of both. Hey, just bring them back to the way they were with the original roster. Obviously, you know, you'd have to take out <clears throat> certain people. Yeah. I mean, but I think with, with all stars, um, you could do either one. You could bring it back to where you could play it um, as it originally was or update the rosters. I think it would be a cool um, WWE all stars two would be a cool um, thing. I think they should do. Um, I know I heard people say something about it because it was definitely a unique game. Yeah, it was. Um, So moving on to number five for me was WWF Attitude. Um, 
This was, for me, it was just nostalgic. It was one of the first um, wrestling games I really played regularly. Um, at, for its time, it had a really good um, create a wrestler system that was actually 10 times better than WWF SmackDown, which came out after this game, which was kind of crazy. Um, if you go back and you look at the differences in the uh, create a wrestler. Um, I mean, I, I think this was, it was either attitude or war zone where you could even, you know, you could customize the, the ring, you could customize the ring ropes, you could change the color in the arena. Um, you could change the lighting. Uh, there, there was so much you could do in this game. And then I don't know why they never did it with, they, they didn't do the same kind of thing with SmackDown. SmackDown seems like uh, in comparison, just with those things, it seemed like kind of a you know a step back. Um, but I definitely liked WWF Attitude. Um, it was always a fun game to play. But, uh, DJ. Alrighty, um, my number five is WWF Attitude. No, um, <laughs> my number five is wwe raw and i'm talking about the genesis version of wwe raw um this was one i remember because my dad for the longest time had a sega genesis in the basement and i used to go down there and play this game um i kind of wish he didn't get rid of it because um i would still probably go downstairs and play this game every once in a while <coughs> um I, I don't know i i just i like this game i thought it was a fun game it was obviously an old school game because it was genesis um you kind of you know Compare and contrast a little bit because I wasn't around when the Genesis was like all big and popular, but I, I remember playing the Genesis as well. Um, so this is one I'd like to kind of see brought back again for a newer system. Um, it was it was a pretty basic game, but it was still fun to play. Damn it, DJ making me feel old. I remember when Genesis was new and was the popular game. Anyway, moving on away from the fact that I'm old. Uh, my number four is going to be a combo. I cheated. But, um... Cheater! I know. You're a phony. He's a phony. This guy's a phony. Uh, it's going to be SmackDown 1 and 2 combined. Um, they're basically, if you really think about it, and if you go back and you play them, they're basically the same exact game they have the same graphics, the same basic uh, video game engine. Um, the only difference is the the superstars um, in the game. And there was a couple of different um, uh, match types in SmackDown 2. But all in all, they were pretty much the same game. I just think it would be a really cool throwback if they kind of, uh, you know, made this as a, a package, you know, a, a, like the ultimate SmackDown game or something like that. Um, I, I think that would be really cool because, um, it, you know, it kicked off the uh, WWE series as we know it, the SmackDown series, which is now just WWE 2K. But, you know, w without these two games, we wouldn't have uh, what we have now pretty much. But um, number four. You are a cheater. You are a cheater. Um, <clears throat> two games in one. Really? Really? Um, uh, SmackDown 2 was actually my number one game. Um, I don't know what it was about SmackDown 2. I, I'd still go back and play SmackDown 2 to this day. Um, that one and SmackDown 1, to be honest. I, I like them both. Um, but uh, for some reason, I don't know what it was, but between SmackDown 1 and SmackDown 2, there was a huge jump in graphics. Um, SmackDown 2's graphics were really good for its time. I don't know if you remember the graphics from that game compared to SmackDown 1, but they were really good. Um, I think SmackDown 2 was the first game where they had uh, the Hell in a Cell, which was cool. Um, I, j I remember season mode from SmackDown 1 more than I do SmackDown 2, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I think I, 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 for my number 4, I would definitely put SmackDown 2. I, li I like SmackDown 2 more than I like SmackDown 1 because I'm not a cheater. Um but yeah, I, I just felt like SmackDown. SmackDown 2, I, I would love to play that game again. Um, like, I, I feel like some of these games you couldn't really fool with because, like, if you did, um, it would, like, ruin the integrity of the game. Because um, why, why would you bring back 
SmackDown 2 with updated rosters when you can just create a new game. <laughs> um, you know, so I feel like that, that's for, for those purposes, yes, I, I, I feel like, uh, you know, you shouldn't change the game. But I, I would definitely like to see SmackDown 2, like, gain some backwards compatibility besides PlayStation 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, number three, we are halfway through our six pack. We are. We're getting tipsy at this point, you know. We're getting, you know, it's 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 not too bad, you know. We're feeling it a little bit, but we can still go, you know. We're it's a it's a lower alcohol, so we're good. I, I don't know. It's it's a six pack of Coke. It's it where it, there's not even alcohol. What are you? Uh, anyway, number three for me, because that rhymed all the time. Is I ch- I tried to be like Enzo there for a minute and it didn't it didn't work. Smackdown, here comes the pain because I like the pain and it coming and and this was back when I still liked Brock Lesnar. But anyway, um, uh, this was a, a really fun game. It has the had a huge roster. Um, it had really good backstage areas that you could. You know, back when you could actually go backstage in WWE video games, uh, back in the day, um, that you know, it it had really good, um, like I said, backstage areas. I think this was the one that you could actually go to WWF New York. Um, I think this was this game, but um, there was just a lot of really good, you know, backstage areas, um, good uh, game modes and things like that. Um, but I think. For the most part, the roster was really big in this game. So, um, you know, you could, you, you definitely had, you know, your your favorite superstar was definitely in this game at the time. Um, and you didn't have to deal with DLC and, you know, waiting for your favorite superstar to be downloaded because, you know, they were signed late and, you know. <laughs> anyway, number three, DJ. Uh, um, my number, my number three, three also, also Mac, 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 comes comes I'm surprised we um, overlapped a lot on these. I, I was, I, I don't know, for some reason, I expected you to pick more older games. For some, like games I wouldn't really, games I wouldn't really know about. Um, <laughs> but, but uh, I, I definitely like Here Comes the Pain. I, I played it like probably about six months ago now. I actually have brought it with me to play on Ryan's uh, PS2. So I, I had been playing season mode with Rhino. Um, it was so hard to pick. Actually, with the with the roster, it was so hard to pick somebody to actually play with. I was like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> when when I but I finally ended up picking Rhino. But uh, yeah, I think the season mode is really good on this game. Um, probably one of the best season modes. Um, the uh, you know the, obviously the roster was really good. They had a lot of match types, um, and the the bumps on this game. Like if you fell from somewhere high. Your neck was broken. Um, you you probably died. <laughs> that animation always sticks out in my head when I think of this game. Like I remember throwing someone. You'll do like a Batista bomb off the cell, right? And, <laughs> and he'll be going back first, and then randomly just flip and hit his neck. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but and and freaking like. One of the big differences is like the hood system on this game and like the the damage system, because if you fell off of a cell on this game, you were hurt. <laughs> um, if you fall <laughs> off of a cell on WWE 2K16, you'll probably get right back up. <laughs> but on this game, nope, <laughs> you're gonna be down. Um, and I, I think this is the game too, where if you were a special guest referee and you got knocked down, you were down for like the entire rest of the match. Um, <laughs> I remember that too from this game. This game was just, it had everything. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I would love to see this game come back and, and uh, be on, on a newer system. I, I wonder, and I'm wondering how you, do you think they should like update the graphics with it too, or just leave them how they were? Just keep it as it was, just on the system. Um, on a newer system so you can play it easy, easier, your, easierly. I newer. think e- easier, easierly. Easierly is a good, it's a good word. Um, I think they could, you know, refine them just a little bit, but, you know, keep the, the general feel of the original game, you know, like, uh, some glitches they could, you know, fix a little bit, like in some of these games when you, 
you know, go off the ropes, you kind of go through the ropes. They could fix that. <laughs> Just because it looks weird. Um, but yeah, I, I would keep it generally the same because that's kind of what, what you're going for. You know, when you play an older video game, you kind of want to, you know, play what you played when you were younger. You don't want to, you know, I, I don't know. But. Number two. Number two for me was WCW Backstage Assault. I know everyone's going to be like, what? Um, I might be the only person who ever liked this game, but I, I loved it. Um, I liked playing through the story mode um, to unlock all of the backstage areas. Um, I also liked that it was all exclusively backstage. There was, not, there was no in-ring matches. It was just backstage um, you could use so many different weapons. Um, you could there there was fire. Um, you could fight in a bathroom and break the sink off the wall and beat somebody with it. It it was just a fun game. It was it was one of those games just to pass time. You know, it wasn't like a, a 2K16 where you're kind of you know trying to work through the story mode. You just it was just fun. And DJ's looking at me weird. I, I mean, like. I, I was researching something, and I don't. I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my number two. WCW Backstage Assault. DJ. All right. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I didn't know what, what order to put these in because these weren't these weren't originally my number two and number one. So I'm gonna put number two out there, and then number one. You guys, I don't think anyone's gonna guess it. But uh, my number two is WWE Raw. Um, the Xbox edition. Uh, this is my second WWE Raw of the uh, of the six pack, but uh, it, it's I, I like this game. I I never really got to play this game in depth. I just got to play it every once in a while. I used to go to my cousin's house when I was younger uh, when this game when this game was out, and I used to play this game. But uh, I don't you know I, I don't remember a lot from it. The main thing I remember is you could go in the Royal Rumble, you could get out of the ring. Get a weapon and get back in the Royal Rumble. Um, I, I just thought that was something that was really cool about this game. Um, but and, and it, from from what I remember from it, it seemed like it was a really cool game. I just never got a chance to really play it because obviously I was on PlayStation at this point, so I didn't I didn't actually get a chance to play it. But this is a game I definitely like to see come back, um, just so I could kind of experience it. Um, I might go back and maybe watch somebody play it because I'm sure somebody has either played it or has replayed it because you know people do those like play the uh games that from from the past and kind of reliving those games so i might see if i can find it on youtube or something and play it but uh yeah that was definitely a game i i kind of wanted to play and i got to play it once or twice but i think i didn't ever get to play that much um and i kind of want to see that one make come back yeah that's definitely one i would like to see too because i never really got to play with it um just because i was more of a uh playstation player uh but anyway all right number one numero uno the best the, the top tam tamale hot dog thing i don't i don't know where i was going with that we're gonna forget that i just remember the pistachios that was so much worse so you know remember the pistachios Anyway, uh, my number one is SmackDown. Shut your mouth. Um, another really good game. Uh, the free roaming backstage area uh, between matches in season mode was awesome. Uh, I've always wanted that that kind of brought back uh, the, the way it was, where you can just you can walk up to random superstars and you know have li little cutscenes depending on who you uh, decided to talk to, um, wh where you decided to go. Um, you and you can make decisions in the game too. You know you could you know fight somebody or you know walk away or whatever. Um, you could in this game you could actually climb to the top of the Titan Tron, which was awesome except falling off of it kind of sucked. But <laughs> yeah, it was just a really fun game. Um, there's a lot of different things from the SmackDown series that kind of were cool, but uh, that was this was definitely one of my favorites to play. But, uh, DJ. 
yeah, I, I definitely liked uh, SmackDown. Um, or shut your mouth. Um, I, I definitely, for some reason, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting a little mixed up with Just Bring It. There's too many rock themed games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> SmackDown, know your role. SmackDown, Just Bring It. Smack, you know. But uh, I always remember, I can't remember which one it is, but there was always that one. Um, or it was a couple of them back to back where Michael Cole, he'd be doing an interview. And then like at the end, every time, regardless of what you said, would be like, every time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, always th- I always thought that was hilarious. But uh, but my number one game, don't get mad at me for this one. My number one game is TNA Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it like I said, it wasn't my number one game. Actually, my number one game was SmackDown too. But now my number one game, TNA Impact, because I feel like number one, I feel like it would be cool to see another TNA game. Um, so this was one they could repackage with new rosters, and I would be happy with. Um, but also, I I actually like this game. I don't know what it was. Um, I the, the I liked like the match, like the gameplay within the matches. It was different. Um, and, and I like the graphics of the game and the kind of short winded entrances. Um, I, I liked all of that. I just wish that they could have um, had more to it um, because it, it, this was one of those games where like they, they promoted it so much for those like two years they promoted it. Um, they were like, we're coming out with a video game, guys. You know, you know, it's coming like tomorrow and then it comes three years from now. Um, but it finally came and it just didn't live up to par. I feel like it would have been fine because it was their first game. It would have been fine if they wouldn't have promoted it for so long and had it, you know, the release date get pushed back farther and farther and farther. I think it was the issue. The season mode was even actually pretty good. Um, I, I, I definitely, uh, I, I liked um, this game. I just kind of wish TNA could get an, another chance at this game. Um, Cause I, I, I played this game recently. Um, Right before I brought brought Here Comes the Pain back here to play it, I was playing this game, and uh, I, I definitely like the game, but and I think they definitely tried to make it different from the WWE game, but I feel like it's still they didn't work hard work hard enough on it, and it wasn't necessarily the TNA. <laughs> Obviously, it was the people who created it, um, but they didn't necessarily work as hard as they could have. I, I think this could be a repackage where we could see it on a newer system, or a repackage where we could see it with updated rosters. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I liked the game. It was just, I think it was a, a multi a, a multitude of things. I think you know it was obviously TNA's first game, so they didn't know really what they wanted. Uh, they 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 knew they wanted something different from WWE. Um, and, and I I forgot who they who created the game, like what company. But and, I don't. And it it was one of. The few games to come out on PlayStation Portable, baby. It was, it was, but I, I think if they had, you know, did another game like a, a an Impact Two or something like that, it would have helped it, you know. But I, I, it feel, it feels like they just kind of put a game that was really hyped and didn't live up to the to the hype, and then gave up. Um, it was made by Midway, by the way. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know exactly if it was budget that they couldn't afford to make another game or what was going on. But there, there's, and, uh, by the way, um, just in case uh, anyone wanted a lesson on why not to ask Midway to make your games, they went out of business in 2009. The game came out in 2008. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, that, that, I don't know. It, it was, it was a cool game. It, it was, you know, the graphics were good for the time. I, I, I remember that was one of the things that really got me excited about it. Cause the graphics look so good. Um, I, I think, and they had, they, they had some match types. They just didn't have as many as they should have. And they didn't have title matches, which was weird. Um, not even in season mode. I don't think they had title matches. Um, so like, I think that was the main issue and another issue come to think about it while I'm thinking about it is, come to think about it, anyway, um, is the whole half the roster was created guys. I don't know if you remember that, but like half the roster came from season mode and weren't real. 
Uh, like there were there were other people they could have added into the game and they didn't just to add in these generic guys. And not only was half the roster created guys, half the roster was other versions of the same people. And on top of that, they basically used this game to debut suicide. <laughs> I I don't know if that was the plan. I don't know if they decided, oh, you know, let's make that guy a real in the plan because they didn't try again. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I guess that's something unique, but I, I don't know. It, it's it seemed stupid. Um, go, thinking back on it, but um. Anyway, that is our six pack of games that we would love to see repackaged, um, re 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 given back to us. You know, again for the. And it's not a 10. There's nothing 10 about this. Stop doing the 10. Six. 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 six, six oh, six, I guess. Six. Sure. But anyway, um, I'm not sure what next week's is going to be. Uh, we haven't decided yet. And even if. Um, it'll be a top six next week's the end of the month. It'll be a top six wrestlers of the month. All right. Most top likely. six wrestlers of the month. That's going to be, like, we're going to have these, um, I feel like Justin, but we're, we're going to have, um, uh, for, from what we talked about, we're going to have uh, three, uh, unless there's five weeks, we're going to have three, um, like, three episodes that are, like, these countdowns, where we count down, like, yeah. signings, video games, the very first one that I can't remember, um, and then the last one of the month is going to be a top six uh, wrestlers of the month. All right, so it's going to be Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, AJ Styles, Sasha Banks, and Sasha Banks. Yeah, yeah I think I think that's that's gonna. It's not actually gonna be my top six. Don't worry. It probably will. It's gonna be all Sasha Banks, uh, <laughs> with some honorable mentions. You know, like. Sasha Banks and and Alexa Bliss. Do, does does JoJo count? Can I put JoJo in mine? I mean, you can, I guess. Right. You can put whatever you want, even All though right. she can hack it in. And she could, she could. They just wouldn't let her. She was too good as a ring announcer to be a wrestler. That's that's what you know. Sometimes you just you know Paul Heyman. He's too good as a manager to be a wrestler. That's how it works. Yes, I just made a Paul ha Paul Heyman Joe Joe comparison. I did. It just happened. All right. Well, we're gonna see you guys next week for the top six wrestlers of the week, month, year, some, some. The top six wrestlers of Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. The top six wrestlers of Tuesday. So whoever you think of the top six for Tuesday, that's. Who it's not going to be because it's of the month. It's going to be the whole month, you know, from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. So we will see you then at that time, which is formerly known as the flippity dippity, but it's not the flippity dippity anymore because, you know, haters don't hate. Uh, and potatoes going to potato. Bye. And stupid.